A car where everything we've ever learned and everything we've ever dreamed comes together. A fluid aerodynamic design. Revolutionary engine technology. Advanced safety features. Unique panorama glass roof. IX35. The incredible made possible. Updating Southern Cross 10 News, I'm Alexia Boland. Motorists are warned to drive to the conditions as investigations into Sunday's fatal crash at Forest Glen continue. Police believe wet and slippery conditions were a factor in the crash that claimed the life of a 61-year-old male driver from Biwa. The man's 51-year-old female passenger remains in hospital. Meanwhile, a former Sunshine Coast man has died after a snowboarding accident in Canada. 26-year-old Dean Stewart was killed after his board hit a tree at the Revelstoke Mountain Resort at the weekend. The experienced snowboarder has moved had moved overseas rather 15 months ago. Applicants from across Australia and New Zealand applied for the role of the Noosa Council CEO with the successful applicant, a former council officer. Brett de Castell, who once worked as Noosa's Corporate Services Director, will take on the job. And taking a look at sport now to NRL, the Roosters have formally applied to have former Kangaroos captain Brad Fittler play return in the warm-up competition, the Auckland Nines. Turning to the weather now and first to the satellite, cloud caused by the monsoon trough in northern and northwestern parts of the state is generating heavy rainfall along with coastal showers. Around our capital, some showers about in Brisbane, there's cloudy conditions in Sydney, while Melbourne and Adelaide continue to reach scorching temperatures. Closer to home, scattered showers and a top of 31 degrees at Bundaberg and Maryborough. A bit of cloud about at Gympie, 29 degrees for Mar Maroochydore. Tops of 26 degrees at Toowoomba today. There's also showers about at Kingaroy. Fine and sunny, 35 at Gundawindi, 29 for Warwick. To the outlook for the next few days, those showers will continue across the region for the rest of the week, with temperatures remaining in the high 20s and low 30s.